Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me as we are going to start another brand new series with Ostriff after all the updates came out, of course. And we're going to load up a new game this time. I decided to play on map number six with some spruce trees because I like those. And the purpose of this game will be to build a very beautiful town. So we're going to try and make a lot of things very nice looking. As we have our map here, we have a nice patch of trees here. Uh, and basically what I want to try and do is we're going to set up base somewhere here or maybe here. But in the end, I want to build a nice city center with row houses and things right here. I think that will be very nice. Um, although this could also be a nice farming patch. So maybe we should start a little bit down here. Um, a little bit closer to the edge of the map as well. Plenty of farming land here too. So uh, we could maybe put down base camp right here and then um we'll just do that of course we're paused because that saves a lot of time we can build the forestry and the clay pit and things like that hopefully here we'll have to find out by the way so let's see can we build a clay pit here yes plenty of space for a clay pit can we also build a sand pit close by that would be interesting uh, somewhere there somewhere here yes we can also build a sand pit actually i think i'm just going to place it and then we'll put the clay pit next to it. So at least these two are ready. Ah, we have to build the clay pit a little bit on this side then. But that's okay. It can be quite close. Uh, yeah, we can... Can we? No, no clay here. We have to build it right here. But that's fine. And oh, we'll remove this one. And then on pause for a second until it's really removed. Sorry about that. There it's gone. All right, let's see. Because now we can just build it next to the clay pit. I think that looks nice if we have those two together. All right, now it's time to really get into business. So let's build a forester right here too. This will have quite a traveling distance. So I want to build the forester somewhere on this side. Um, and then, of course, we get as many men into the building business as possible. What do we need now? Well, we're going to need a thatchery and a smithy and all of that, but we're also going to need a few houses. And what I would like to do now, this time, we're going to start with a few village houses with gardens. Um, oh no, that's not what we're going to do, because here we have some industry, of course. So what I would like to do is start building a few village houses that are close to this, but of course they won't have a garden. We'll build gardens a little bit later, houses with a garden. We're going to build... A nice row of houses here, just like this. Leave some space in between and we'll make a row of four houses. Then we'll do another one on this side, but leave some space in between the housing. Because I think that will make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, this house is placed a bit much to the front. All right, we can unpause now because they can start to at least build all the things that we've already designated. Yeah, let's build it like this, like this, and like this. All right, that's four houses. That's nice. And then I think we can start with houses with a garden on this side because I want to give them a nice big garden. So we'll also hit the F1 button now and we're going to increase the size of the gardens a bit. So that they will have a reasonable sized garden. We're going to place the houses somewhat in the back. Because I think that's very nice. That's one. Would be nice if we would have a copying tool so that we could just copy these houses. Now you can already see the amount of difference in how much space it costs to actually build a house with a garden. This is two houses for the same size or in at least the same width as three normal houses without the garden. So that's quite a difference. But that's okay. Let's build another one. So at least we have a few houses to spare. All right, let's move this one up. Let's make this kind of straight. Yes. All right. So that's, well, that's plenty of housing. So that should be fine. I think now it's time to start worrying about all the other things that we need, like the thatchery, uh, but also the carpenter and the slaughterhouse and things like that. So let's first get a thatchery, if I can find it. There it is. All right, that can go next to the uh, wood chopping business, but I'm going to leave a bit of space between them. 
could also go on this side, by the way. Now, these have already have their own fence, as you can see. This has a little bit of a fence. So what I want to do is add some fencing to it. All right, one, two, three guys out of there. We should have one spare, so now they can start to get trees. Um, but now this is all open, and I want to give this a little bit more of an interesting uh, look to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to get... Uh, I think we have to get a little bit of a, the same looking fence. So just with some wooden poles on it. Is that this one? I don't know. Yeah, we can do that. So we can now fence this off a bit more. You can see we cannot go too far. We can do it like this. That's a start. I don't think we can actually start on the property right here. No. But what we can do is go here. And then just create the fence like this. Now, of course, it will take more time for them to... Uh, needs to be a tiny bit longer, I think, but this is okay. They will have to walk around the fence now, but look at this. Now it starts to already look a little bit nicer just because we added a fence around to it. And that's what I would really like. So that's, that's some things that we're going to do. We already started building the first house. These guys are starting to get all the wood in that we need. So that's a very nice feature. And we can already start to think about this little road here. Now I'm not going to plant any trees yet. Simply because if we do that. Uh, they will spend time uh, planting those trees. And I want them to spend time on that yet. I want them to do that once we have plenty of logs and stuff like that and we don't have that right now so i'm not going to tempt them to plant any trees or right. all these villagers will need a place to sit and relax so we're going to give it to them see all the ladies are already chilling out on the benches that's good this looks nice and then soon enough we're going to plant a few trees of course but right now i want them to create firewood and all the other things that we need now this is a start for our city here we will continue so what we can do is build the city center somewhere away from this but right here we're going to need a granary in the end to start selling the products this could be a nice sort of square area where we can actually create all of that. So let's build a granary and then lay that on. Once that's done, we're going to decorate this whole area. What we, of course, not want to forget are a few wells. The good thing is with the stone wells, though, later on, we can fit them in between the houses. I'm not sure if I made enough space to do that with these. No, we didn't. All right, so I'm going to place one well on this side. It might not be the nicest looking thing, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to place one here too. And I think we're going to fence off this area already. So here we have the house. And then right here in the corner, we get this fenced off area. This is where the uh, well will be. First, let's get going with the houses. But this is going rather quickly, so that's nice. I think we need to move the thatchery up because I want to get the ladies working uh, soon enough. And we now can worry ourselves with things like a smithy and charcoal pits and things like that. Now, they need not be too close to the houses. We already built a little bit of fencing here. So what we can do is build the smithy right here. Like this. Then continue with the fencing. And I have to say, it is a nice looking fence for the industrial area. I'm going to place it right here already. And this time we're going to make sure that the charcoal pits are actually close to the smithy and included in its area. So we'll build one, two, maybe we should just do four here so that it has enough charcoal in its own area. Like this. And now we can continue the fencing all the way around it. Just to fence it off from other people to, to stop by and, and, and get into it. That's not what we want. So we'll do it a bit like this. And then once the smithy is done, I want to fence this area off a bit too. But I'm going to wait a little bit with that. 
And of course, to compensate for all the uh, bad stuff that's going to come out of the air, we're going to build uh, one pine tree here. Uh, not right there. Oh, I can't get rid of it. Uh, okay, well, we'll get rid of it later. I thought I could make two next to each other, but that, that's just a bit too close for them. So that, ah, yeah, we can. All right, can we do one in the corner here too? No, okay. Yeah, that's just... Uh, we can do another one in here. So let's add a few trees to it so that it just gives it that slightly better look to this part of town with a few trees in them. But, uh, what we can do, of course, is get rid of this fence. Then first place the trees in this area and then we build the fence around it. Alright, that should work. Now let's get the fence a slightly bit longer. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, this is going to be a nice looking area. We need the smithy a bit early on too. Let's see, we have one house done. Second house. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. I think after the ninth house, we're going to build the smithy straight away. Then we need those extra wells too. And after that, we can get things like extra housing and stuff like that. All right. Well, we are on our way. Hopefully going to create a very lovely, nice looking town. How are we doing with the trees? Ah, we don't have much to spare because of the charcoal pits, of course. They're using all the wood straight away for the charcoal. And we did not leave an opening in here. So they can't just get in here. So what I'm going to try... Yeah, let's get rid of this little bit of fencing. Simply because now they can get take this corner here and that will save them a lot of travel time. Or at least it should save them a lot of travel time. Let's hope it does. Can we plant any trees here? No, not really. I don't think that will make it look any better. Alright, I'm going to speed up for a bit now because I don't want to make a lengthier queue because then we can't see what we're doing. And we need this houses anyway. And of course, in the end, I think what's going to happen is that we're not going to be able to build a lot this first episode, of course. Um, because we, um, we need to get to the nine houses and develop our town a bit first. So I'm not going to decorate everything yet. There will be a lot more episodes where we can build a lot of nice things. Just not right now. Do need to start worrying about the farm, though. Um, I think the first farm could just go somewhere here. And then we can build the fields here. Not sure how um, efficient I can place it all. But we'll see about that. Let's build the farm right here. And of course that needs to be done before the end of the winter so that they can actually start to work the land quickly. Ah, our thatchery is done. Let's get the ladies in there. Come on, let's start to create some of our own thatch already. We have four charcoal pits ready. The last one is still burning a bit, but then they're all ready and we have a big amount of charcoal. Two houses are done. Busy with the third now. Hoping that soon these will gather enough logs so that we can take two people out of them and put them in the building. Crew that will speed up the building as well. Ah, this looks really nice. Four logs in there now. All right, so that's going a tiny bit faster than it was before. Mostly because of all the charcoal, because we stopped the uh, area here that they don't have to go uh, all the way walking around everything with a log. Yeah, I think we have plenty now, so let's get these two guys out. Let's put them in the building crews that could really speed up the building of the houses. Now, these houses are even closer to all the stuff that we need than the other ones, so that should also speed it up a bit. But also one thing you really should take into account is the walking distance. Every time they have to get wood, they have to get it from here, bring it to a house, which is quite far. 
if we built the houses right here, the walking distance would have been a lot shorter. Of course, the clay pit is close by, so that is very nice and that is helpful. But still, can be uh, a bit tough to, to travel all these distance. I think we should be fine, though, before the end of winter. We should have our houses done, but who knows? fourth house is coming along we just started June and they're really using the carts very well so that's one of the things I sometimes forget when building a city to keep the infrastructure up and not infrastructure as in roads but the transportation infrastructure and building these extra carts all over town and later on the cart shed even the wagons can really speed up the movement of products around the map and that can save so much time so it'll be interesting to see how that will go all right they're building this house now maybe we have to move this fence a little bit on later to make it a little bit more straight but also uh, sometimes i'm too much of a straight builder everything has to be straight and nice and tight and stuff and maybe i should let that go a bit more and just try and enjoy building a very nice town we can already see that the thatch ladies really have to walk very far this time so that might be something for later to to tackle and and switch a bit but for now it works and we should have thatch in our storage still yeah all right so that's good we can see that they had plenty of time now to collect logs so we have 14 logs already that works four houses are done four happy families having their own place to live That does look right. Later on we'll get rid of all the stuff here of course. But not this time. I guess we can start to place a few cart sheds already. Maybe we can just place one in the middle here. Can we? No. No. The well is in the way. Ah. There was an opening here. Yeah. There we can. This would be quite interesting. Because then they can just pick a cart and go to the uh, clay pit and stuff. But I don't think it's the ideal spot. I don't want it there. Uh, could place one right here, but I don't think that looks nice either. So uh, we'll build one right here, I think, like this. And then we can just add a little bit of fencing again. Just so that it becomes a little fenced off area where the carts are parked. And if we do it a bit like this. We do create an entrance like this. And this should be a nice place for the wagons to be stored. And they can just take it out and go anywhere they want. Now of course the thing is if you fence things off. If you are very busy with that. Let's uh, plant a few birch trees here by the way. Then um, it will usually interfere with efficiency so yes this town won't be as efficient as others because uh of the uh let's hide the um cart shed a bit with all the trees i think that will be very interesting we get a very green town and there's no way the um people will see all the cart sheds then i think that can be really nice but yeah this won't be the most efficient town so probably get a lot of comments on later episodes that this is not efficient that is not efficient i know but that's not the goal we're going to create a nice looking town this time not the most efficient town and uh of course you can comment on how nice it looks and how different you would probably do it that's totally fine maybe you can give me some ideas i would appreciate that so please of course feel free to give any comment you like but just to be clear this is the goal to be make a nice town, not an efficient town. All right, here they go. I can't wait for this to really turn into some sort of a road. I think that'll be very nice. And then uh, we should do some fencing here too. So this could be a fenced off market square. I'll have to make this longer and sometimes we'll have to tear things down again, I guess, and then really rebuild it until it is how we want it to be. But it's just July. And we're getting there. 
I think I want this done now first so that we can start to create a few nails. But of course we need men to do that and we don't really can spare a lot. But we can spare one, I think. Let's do it. Let's just try it. Let's take a gamble. Don't always play safe. We just get gambling now. All right, here it comes. Over halfway done. Doing a lot of nails. Some last timber work. And then the thatch can be on. Ah, they already started bringing some wood here. All work is done. Nothing to do now, so... Oh, that's fine. Well, maybe we can start to plant a few trees here so that they can get really big. Question is, what trees will we want there? Um, do we want the big spruce trees in the square here? Could be interesting. Let's plant a few spruce trees here. Let's just try what it looks like. If we don't like it later on, I'm not going to plant a tree there, of course. I think I want some um, bushes in between them. Now, the good thing is that these bushes are fully mature already and they can start to show their flowers soon. I do want bushes on this side as well. But from here on, we get the entrance to the market area. And uh, I don't want a tree there because it will just interfere with the entrance, I think. Although, it might just be very nice to have one here too. All right, I believe I planted spruce trees. Yes, I already forgot. That's not good. Let's put this one at the entrance. We'll see. We'll see. People can still walk around it, so that should be fine. I think I'm going to move this well and remove this for now because I want it to look a bit more straight. So for instance here we have the house. So if we build a fence here it should be kind of straight with the house. Just like this. And then we'll continue onward like this. Now this should be pretty straight. Yes. And then from here on we can continue the fence like this and this and now we can build a well in there I think I think this looks better I have to rotate it of course it completely fits in so that's good it really suits that area house number eight Ah, the smithy is up. Let's get somebody in there. Just one that can really start to make this. We don't need metal parts yet, so I'm going to turn that off. And yeah, we don't need horse... Ah, we do need metal parts for the carts. So let's set this up to like 25. That should be in fine. Not enough iron, but we have iron to spare. So that's good. Uh, might take some time before he gets everything. But hopefully he does. And we're going to build the last house. That we need to house everybody. It's just September, so that's good. And we should be very much ready before the winter, even with the farm. I like that. Alright, the smithy is now done. So how can we make the smithy look nice? This is the area where they can get in and do stuff. Maybe this could be the first one where we place like a small arch where you get in. That could look very nice. But I think... How does the arch have to go? I think a little bit more like this at the center. Or like this. Oh, this could go fine. Let's build it right there. Then continue with the fencing. And... Yeah, we can just fence it off like that. That's fine. All right. So here we have the smithy. Too bad there's not a sign that we can put down like this is where the smithy is. Now we can place a birdhouse though. Let's see if any birds will come in later on. And I think we should decorate the smithy too with a few trees. An ash tree. I think that sounds suitable for a smithy. An ash tree. Alright. Can we also place a bench here for the workers to sit on yeah next to the birdhouse oh that'll be nice we can probably do the same here just put down a bench 
should have taken relics while they're working. Great. Just tiny little add-ons, but it can be those little things that really make it look nice. I don't think we can use these areas. No, so we can't place a bush there. Can still place a few bushes here. Yeah, just add a few bushes to it. All right, all our houses are done. So they won't be sewing in, of course, because it's not the sewing season, but we have all the houses now. Um, we can earn money from exporting farm produce through a trading post. Yeah, that's really interesting. We are going to build a farm soon. Not yet, though. And then we also need to start thinking ahead a little bit about different sources of food and stuff like that. Okay. So this area is done. All the wells are done. So I'm very sorry for these people, but we're going to get rid of all of this. They're not allowed to sit here anymore. They need to go to different places. This well should also go because we have the other ones now. And after these two houses are done, we're probably going to build the cart parking first because I want an extra cart. That also means that we need somebody like the carpenter. So let's get the carpentry up. Now that's not some sort of a heavy business, I believe. So we can build the carpenter right here on this side of town. Let's place it there. It should also have its own fence. Now this whole area will have the, like the same fencing because it's kind of the same industry area. We'll fence it off like this for now. Should be getting some trees in here too. Could be those very big trees. Too close to another tree. Ah, there's trees on this side, of course. That's the issue. Okay. Well, we can build a row of these trees right here. Just for the fun of it. I think this area should also have a bench, but we'll just place the bench on this side then. Or maybe we can place two of them. Or three. So that people can really chillax out here. I'll place a bush next to the benches. So it'll have an easy place to sit and relax. Now I want the carpenter after the cart shed so we can actually build that cart. Yeah, plenty of water now. This is slowly starting to look like a real city center, I think. Here comes the farm that's going to make for a lot of field building. All the fields need to be put up, but we can do that. We have four metal parts already. Okay. Going to need more though. I think right now it's time to start upping the metal part production too. For all the carts. Here they come finishing the farm with some thatch. Although we need a little bit extra thatch. We have some in here. We should have probably... Yeah, we still have a thousand inch storage as well. So that's good. But I think thatch production could go a little bit too slow soon enough because of the distance to the water. So that's something that we have to fix later on. But here's our farm. Let's set it up to just hire ladies. And I want a manager in there. Perfect. We now have a manager. All right, let's add a few fields. Now I want to add eight fields, of course. And in order to make it as efficient as possible, I'm going to make two rows of fields. And we'll put the entrance right here. No, I'm going to do it differently. We'll make the entrance on this side for now. So at least these four fields that I'm going to place here can be serviced very quickly. And then only the extra row of fields will take them some extra time to, to get to them and service them. All right, that's one field. We'll add another field, but I think we'll have to remove quite a few trees for this field. That's also not exactly what I want because that's going to make... It take very long before we actually get to it. So that's not precisely how I had intended it. But, um, well, it has to happen for now. Then we'll add a field here too. With an opening. I want a slightly bigger opening like this. Too long. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. 
Okay. Well, most fields should be instantly serviceable. So before the end of winter, we'll have a working farm with quite a few fields. Let's add fields to it. I think we should start right here again. Like this, 25. Well, they're going to be quite lengthy. But they should give us a very good yield and a lot of food should come out of it. The next field, the one that's coming after this one, will also require us to remove a few trees. But in the end, we will still have six fields fully in service. And that's what matters to me right now. And the two extra fields will be the bonus fields, so I'm not going to worry about them. Yeah, we can make this one slightly bigger. All right, there we are. Let's at least start setting up the fields that we do have. Uh, let's move this one down the line so that those two fields that are not ready yet will be just the ones down the bottom. Yep, right there, like that. All right, we'll start with buckwheat and potatoes, of course, because that's a steady stream of food. And we're going to need a lot of it anyway. And we're going to use the uh, two crop rotation system. So we'll have three fields and they will all produce one of the items, either potatoes, either buckwheat or be fallow. And that way, right now, if we do it like this, uh, I have to do buckwheat here. We will always have two fields producing potatoes, two fields producing buckwheat and what two fields being fallow. And I think that's a very nice way to put this. So there we go. Let's activate these fields that are ready. Of course, we're going to have to get a few ladies in town too. But I'm going to leave them out of there because we can't do any seasonal hiring yet. Now I'm going to put them in there, by the way. Quite simply because um, once we have them, I think we should hire males too soon. As especially once the farming will start, we need a few males in there to help out with the sewing. And after that, we can, I guess we need a town hall desperately. That's basically what I want to say. So that we can manage our economy, but also manage seasonal hiring. But the question is where to place our town hall. This is going to be all farm ground later on. Our town will be more this way. So what I think I should do is we have the market square. So we'll get houses here. We'll get houses here. We'll get houses all around the market square. Then here we'll start with houses too. So I'm going to build the... Um, city hall here I guess somewhere and then we'll just build our town around it so let's just place it right there it should be done before the fields your carts are wearing out you need to repair them yes I know that's why we're now building the cart shed and after this we're going to build the carpenter it's on its way right now very good then we can start to repair our carts and even build an extra one so that we have an extra cart to use also getting towards the end of January. That's nice. Maybe we should build the town hall before the granary. Because we don't need the granary straight away. We have no food to put in yet. We only have that once the uh, harvesting season is there. And this time I'm not going to place the carts really straight next to the granary. I want to put uh, the carts. I mean the uh, market stalls. I want to build them... Next to these fences, I'm going to make this fence slightly longer and then we'll go this way a bit. And now we can build a marketplace right here. Get it a bit out of the corner so we can have a big cottonwood tree here. And I also want a bench here. Or maybe even two and one here. This should be our first market area. Very good. All right, so the farm can start working as soon as it's ready. They're building this already. That's going really fast. Uh, we do need a guy in here as well. So let's tell it to do it like this. 
so that at least one person can go in here. We also need to tell it it can be filled different ways. Yeah, there he is. Very good. I think we can take two ladies out of here, or at least one, so that this one's this spot is also filled up. Ah, that's working. But it's also been over half an hour already, and we started to construct a beautiful town, but there's still a long way to go. But there's also a lot of episodes to come. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments about beautifications you want to see me do, about ideas you have about building a beautiful town. Leave them in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.